Welcome to Crowded Lab. Today I will do a revisit review of Strico. It is your generative AI platform, which combines image generation and which gives you access to a ton of large language models. And also it provides a convenient way how you can store your prompts. And also there are available a lot of predefined and useful prompts as well. Let's see what kind of features we get here. And I will leave the link to my full review in the description. And in this video, I will focus more on the updates to the tool. So right from the start, I see that there are new models available. I don't remember Stable Diffusion Excel be there before and now you should be able to upload files in PDF, TXT, Word format and even PowerPoint presentations. I believe they extended the access to the number of AI models. Yep. And right from the start you can see indeed they extended that access. I see Cloud version 3 in different variants. That's great that you can have this kind of access on a lifetime deal monthly. And as well, you get 250,000 monthly words across 10 plus models and access to GPT-4 vision as well. For example, you may ask to review your UX design. Okay, so here we are in the main dashboard. And before we start with text generation, I would like to show you that you can generate images as well. You can provide negative prompt. You can describe your image. Okay, I can see some suggestion here. So let's actually try and generate that. Okay. We are getting our images generating. Okay, yep, well, that's actually a nice quality images. And of course, as usual with any image generation tool, the output quality will depend on the quality of your prompt. And here we can see the details about the model with which the image was generated. This table diffusion Excel. So what else can we have here? We have advanced settings and here we can change the model. So that is actually nice to have. All right, what else do we have here? So on the main page, you can see some suggested prompts to try, like talk to Elon Musk, evaluating your CV, have a simulated conversation with psychoanalyst or evaluating your UI UX image. Or for example, a role playing based on the book of Noah Kagan, CEO at Absomo. Let's actually try that. And let's ask this question, asking to describe how lifetime deal model can help startups to grow, we can see that we have already fixed attachments. It is part of the book and I believe a video or audio. Yep, here it is a video as a source. We can see some base prompt. So we are acting as a CEO of AppSumo. Okay, so let's Insert that, we can see the full prompt down below. So let's go. And here it is. We are getting the detailed answer about lifetime deal model. For example, the answer describes how a lifetime deal model unlocks immediate revenue 
for the startups. And you can continue talking to the SEO of AppSumo. Like, what are the common pitfalls of this model? And here it is, we are getting the detailed answer. Yeah, that is great. So here we have some suggestions and as well, if we go to change, we will see the number of models are available to us. And as well, we'll have the price per 100 words. Some models are pricier than others. For example, Claude 3 Opus is much pricier than Claude 3 Haiku. And what's nice about this tool is that you can combine the output from different models. For example, let's compare Haiku and Opus with GPT-4 Turbo. And let's select that. At the top, you can see models that you selected. I believe you can have up to four models. Yep, you can use four models at once. For example, let's say you would like to know about the role of dopamine in the human brain. Let's ask that. Here we are getting the answer from the first low three haiku. So we have our response generated and now we can switch between the answers of three models and I believe even during generation we could do the same. So that is a great tool to compare the output of different models because nowadays we have a lot of different large language models and you may have a specific task where one will be performing better than other. So with Strico, you have a great tool to compare the output of different models. So what else do we have with Strico? Well, we have a dark theme, not a game changer, but always nice to have. And if we click on this book, we are getting the prompt library. And this is great. There are a lot of predefined prompts already something for programming, something for writing, and I believe the creators of Strycor have chosen the best model depending on the task. For example, here we can see Grammar Fixer, probably better working with GPT for Turbo, where Cloud version 2.1 may be better at summarizing points. We have a lot for image prompting as well. Prompts for generating content. Prompts for business. Career development. Help with CV. And please note that some models are better for a particular task. For example, Mixtral model is great for role playing. And here you can be placed in the situation where AI will be in the role of interviewer. That's great. And again, there are a lot of predefined prompts. And as well, of course, you will be able to save and create your own prompts here. You will be able to select default model, template name, a description, default model, then you will have more options. You will be able to insert variables, for example, base input and then your prompt. So yeah, that's how you can work with AI templates. For example, let's take a look at this one, Mytho Max. And if we click here, we will have some additional information about a particular model 
describing that this model specializes in storytelling and advanced role playing. So you can build probably a game similar to Dungeons and Dragons. You can build your interviewer with this model. Again, different models for different tasks. And again, let's just one more time take a look at all the models available. We have the world's limit, the status or the moderation, the capability, like text input output. Some models accept images as input and some like perplexity are capable of verb search. That's great addition. So you have a variety of tools at your disposal. And that is packed in a simple to use user interface. All right, so let's move to the conclusion. Six months ago, I remember I had positive feelings about using Strico. I liked that product. And today, six months after, I still enjoy using this AI platform because it provides easy access to a lot of large language models and many models are good at very specific tasks. For example, in building a role-playing like interviewing environment. And what I like as well about Strico is that they are developing their product, making new models available. Flow 3 appeared just recently and it is already available as a lifetime deal within Strico. So the tool is easy to use and it evolves giving you new features. So to get Strico, please check my link in the description. And as usual, please give this video a like if you find this content useful and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.